Hey, Fragrance Family, I'm Daver. I'm Jer. And we're the Fragrance, Fragrance Bros. Bros. Hey, coming at you this time again with another Fragrance review, this time on Dulce La Cire by mm -hmm. Lair Bellario. Yeah. Uh, this is kind of an under the radar fragrance. Yes. I know I've seen some, uh, some reviews on Fragranica about it, mm -hmm. mostly because I was looking at Amber Narguilé <laughs> and it got compared to that. Yeah. And so I looked it up. Yeah. And we had tried uh, Mejoriz mm -hmm. by. Lair Bellario. Yeah. We actually did a shootout of that. Right. And Muscrab Azure. Mm -hmm. Really close comparisons. Yes. Which we'll have a link down to that below. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're going to have a shootout of this and Amber Nargule. Yes. Time to so, shed some light on the house of Lair Bellario. Definitely. They definitely. deserve it. They do. They have some really good offerings. Yeah. So, uh, obvious comparisons to Amber Nargule. We're not going to go into that right now. We may go in, we may just hint at it a little bit. Yeah. But, That's Dave's but, warning to me to not do that during the day. Anyway. <laughs> it's not so subtle. <laughs> but I picked up on it. Because I'm sure. It was subtle. <laughs> it's not now that I call it. It's not now, yeah. <laughs> okay. Data introduced is question mark. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Does it say? Can't find it. Okay. Nowhere. Even no. went on Lair Bellario's site. No freaking where. Nowhere. Nowhere. All right. <laughs> Classified as an oriental vanilla, notes are bergamot, orange, caramel, rum, jasmine, rose, immortelle, lily of the valley, cinnamon, sugar cane, cocoa powder, patchouli, vanilla, benzoin, tonka, amber, and musk. Yeah! All in one shot. <laughs> yeah, all in one shot. <laughs> now, what'd you get to have longevity out of this? Sad panda. I got poor longevity. Dang, that sucks. Three hours. Really? Yes, dude. Dude. Gone. I even tried the... <laughs> Dang. <laughs> you know what that means? When a fragrance starts dying on my head, if I breathe some hot air onto it, it brings it back up again a little mm -hmm. bit for whatever reason, because of the arm hair, I guess, whatever. But yeah, dude, about three hours. I put it on at about seven, by 10. Definitely by lunch. I could not pick up any of it. Dang, that sucks. Yeah, it was frustrating. Man, I got, I got actually pretty good longevity. It's average pushing on excellent for me, yeah. Yeah, kudos, brother. What about projection? Poor. Really? Yeah, dude. Dude. <laughs> it was bad. I did five sprays. <laughs> I'm not lying. I did five sprays, and it's warm. Yeah. It should have performed better. Yeah. For me, it did not work very well. Dang, I got average projection. Okay. Season, I'd say this is definitely fall and winter. I think a lot of people would say this is definitely fall and winter scent, but I could see this all year round. Hmm. I think this is a good Vivaldi scent all four seasons. Okay. And I think this is good day or night. The purpose, I would say this is good for casual. I think this would be good for date too, especially if you're a woman. Yeah. Um, now, it's interesting to note, this is marketed as a female fragrance, but I think men or women can wear this equally. Wow. Um, it's very unisex to me. And, it, and you know, it smells a lot like Amber Narguilé, so very, yeah. that one's very unisex as well. Yeah, totally. And what does this remind you of? Um, it reminds me of Amber Narguilé. Amber Narguilé. <laughs> It's, it smells, um, it's got this spicy, warm feeling to me. Yeah. It reminds me of uh, cherry, like a cherry feel to okay. it for some reason. I don't, I don't think there's any cherries in the notes, but it just reminds me like of a, um, almost like, uh, what are those things called? Like the hostess pockets with the cherry filling in the middle. Okay, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Uh, it doesn't really smell like one of those. That's just, feel, it's like a spiced kind of cherry thing going on. Um, it's warm. It's almost kind of sandy in a way. It's okay. got a um, a dry quality to it to me. Um, it's a good it's a good scent. I like the scent a lot. Very inviting, very sensual. I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a max scent. <laughs> it's a sensual scent. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it back to Ash, son. <laughs> Lest we forget. That's the that's the scent that I get. It's good. Maybe maybe kind of vanilla-ish too. Yeah. Um, I like it. Yeah. I dig. Yeah, I like it a lot too. Um, I do definitely get kind of a, a very caramel, okay. caramel vibe from it. There's mm -hmm. you know caramel in the notes. There's cognac in the notes. I do get cognac a lot. Mm -hmm. I get a, a good bit of cognac. I do get a good bit of amber and vanilla. Mm -hmm. It is spicy. It does actually remind me a lot of apple pie, as well. Yeah. And I know a lot of people have said that amber nargile reminds them of, of apple pie. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying not to talk about amber nargile, but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I do actually get apple pie with this a okay. little bit. And uh, there's a good bit of amber, but it's not overbearing. Yeah. So I think that's really good. And it's a, just a great, great gourmand scent. It's yeah. really, really nice. Mm -hmm. 
and it has a lot of depth and a lot of layers to it too, which yeah. is really, really cool. Mm -hmm. Now off the top, what this really reminds me of <clears throat> is bubble gum and caramel. Like if you had a if you had a caramel flavored bubble gum, <laughs> that's what this reminds me of. It's a really kind of a strange mix. All right, but yeah, it it, it has kind of almost a bubble gum flavor to it, but mm -hmm. <clears throat> that's only slight. Yeah, and then of course you get more amber and stuff. And if you smell it up close, you get more amber. Mm -hmm. um, very nice. Uh, in Italian, dolce lacier means sweet elixir, and I think that's a really good name for this. That is a good name for this. So yeah, nailed it. It's also interesting. This is an EDP, um, which. I guess their female line is EDP, like normal. You didn't get EDP <laughs> longevity or projection. <laughs> Whatevs. <laughs> but uh, this is a great, this is a great unisex fragrance, good mm -hmm. for men and women. Uh, I think women would be more at home with this, but I think men could really wear this. And I, when I say when I say women to be at home with this more, I don't mean that it's more feminine. Mm -hmm. I think that it probably, <clears throat> if a woman wore this. It would smell great on a woman. If a man wore this too, I think it would smell good on them too. But for some reason, I really want to smell it more on a woman. I guess yeah. I, don't, I don't know. Hmm. That just I maybe that doesn't make sense. But it just it just smells it doesn't better on a woman. I guess. <laughs> Did Talia wear it for you? Um, no. Okay. No, I only wore it this time. Okay. Uh, but I wanted to wear it. Yeah. Because <laughs> right. it smells better on a woman. That's right. <laughs> no sense. There's really not much more to say about it. I mean, it's pretty just cut and dry. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Yeah. That's it. Boom. Bang for buck. This is fifty-five dollars, I believe, for a hundred mil. Mm -hmm. Now, if you go to the American distributor of Lerbolario, uh, Cyber Cucina or Cucina mm -hmm. uh, dot com, we'll have a link down below where you can find it. Uh, it says it's fifty-five dollars for a hundred mil. I'm not sure if they sell two different sizes or not, because. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually got a 50 mil, yeah. but I don't I don't know if I see it on the website or not. Anyway, so bank for buck is great. Yeah, for that even you know whatever size, even if it's a, a 50 mil, that's a great bang for buck. I think. Yeah. Uh, it smells great. Uh, your performance might vary. I know I got good uh, average performance. Yeah. You didn't not yeah. so much, but I got pretty good performance. That's good. Uh, and you know that's all I really care about. Mm -hmm. And it's great smell, especially when compared to its. Obvious comparison, yes. which is about four times, five times the cost. Yes. Dude. By the way, we're going to shoot that right if we get done with this. Yeah, we are. <laughs> It'll be a week for you. Minutes for us. Minutes. <laughs> now, what about compliments? Anything? No, I'm, I'm serious. It was very, very, very close to my skin. No one noticed it. Not even Stephanie when we were, you know, hugging and stuff. So. Yeah. Because we just hug. <laughs> just hug. We just hug it. Nonstop. All day. <laughs> No, no, I didn't get any compliments. How about yeah, you? I didn't really get any compliments. My wife didn't like it on me, hmm. um, but I know that she thought that Amber Nagulet is fine for her. Uh, okay. So I think it's one of those fragrances where I think she would like this on her more. Yeah. So, word. So yeah. Okay. Uh, final rating. I'm gonna give this a three out of five. Uh, I have respect for what it does, and uh, I think its smell, the scent is great, and the fact that it may or may not be close to something that you know is more expensive and hard to harder to find is great but the performance was so bad mm. that I gotta even that out somehow so I'm gonna stick with the three. I'm gonna give this a four out of five. I really like this. I think it's a great buy uh, for like I said men and women would really like this. Mm -hmm. If you're on a budget and you, you heard a lot about Amber Nargulet, buy this instead. Um, I think it's really great. So four out of five. Really good. Glowing recommendation right there. So yeah. So what have you tried this YouTube? Let us know what you think down in the comments down below. Of course, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe down below. We'll love you for it. We'll see you next week. We're the Fragrance Brothers. Bye. Bye.